Hey guys, it's Gabby from What's Gabby Cooking and I need you to prepare yourselves because today we are making the most epic cheese board known to man. Okay, first things first, all the things, literally all the things. We have some cheeses, we have some meats over here, and then all the kind of add-ins that really make a cheese board pop. First thing we're gonna start with is placing the cheeses. So when you're looking for cheeses at the grocery store, make sure you get kind of a variety of flavors and textures and all that. Let's start with this. This is a Port Salute. It's my favorite cheese. You can get it at Trader Joe's. It's super cheap. And then we have some Humboldt Fog from Cypress Grove. These two we're gonna leave whole because of the kinds of cheeses they are. But this Gouda and the cheddar that we'll do eventually, we wanna give it's some variety. So like these are gonna be in wedges, we're gonna flake that off. Okay, so see how fun that looks? Like it's all like jagged and not perfect like everything else. You guys get the idea. Next, we're gonna get to the meat. So first we have the fennel pollen salami and I like to kind of fold it into little meat flowers, if you will. It's not the technical term for it, but bear with me. And then maybe over here, I'm just gonna put this fig jam to kind of keep that in place. Okay, next, let's do some more meat. This is just a little trio from Trader Joe's. It has prosciutto, salami, and some capicola. Nothing crazy. And we are going to take the prosciutto first, and we're just gonna kinda loosely pile it up. We'll do some of the salami. More is more. That's kind of the theme for my cheese boards. I want it to be super abundant always. And then we'll do one last kind of meat. Next, I feel like we should put some crackers on here. I have regular wafers, and then we'll grab another kind of cracker. These are those Rain Coast crisps, and they're delicious. They have like little dried figs in them. And then maybe we'll bring in some grapes. Then we have some Castel Vitrano olives, which are the gateway olive. If you don't like olives, these will probably change your mind. Candied any nut is great, but I'm a particularly big fan of candied walnuts. And then let's start working in some fresh fruit. It's cherry season right now. We'll put some blackberries on there. Then we have Marcona almonds, which are one of my favorite kinds of almonds. So they're really flavorful. Oh, this is looking really good. Okay, and then we'll do the raspberries, some pistachios over in this corner. I always like to give a little bit of height when I'm doing a cheese board because like everything's kind of flat. And then last two things we need. We need a little bowl for the pits of the cherries and the pits of the olives. And here's what you do when you're hosting. You take one for the team and eat an olive, take the pit and put it in there so everyone knows that's what it's for. So last thing is putting knives in these two big wedges of cheese and that way everybody knows what to do and they can kind of choose their own adventure.